Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to do dynamic routing with IPv6 addresses. The first step is to draw the network and make appropriate connections between the devices. Here we are going to take two routers and one computer for every router. Now here you can see in this network, we have three subnetworks. This is subnetwork one, this is subnetwork two, and this is subnetwork C. So we are going to assign appropriate IPv6 addresses to these subnetworks. Here you can see for subnetwork one, I will have IPv6 addresses of this form. That is for this subnetwork. For subnetwork 2, that is for this network, I will have IPv6 addresses of this form. And for this network, consisting of these two routers, I will have IPv6 addresses of this form. First, I will assign the IP addresses to the desktops. Here this 64 mentions the number of hosts that we have in the network. In default gateway, you will provide the IP address of the router. For this desktop, this router's IP address we are going to provide in default gateway. Now for the routers, you have to go to CLI commands. For this question, would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? Give no. Then give the command en for enable to enter in privilege mode. Then we give command config t to enter in global configuration mode. In global configuration mode, you will give command IPv6 unicast. So that the router knows that we are going to here use IPv6 addresses. Now you will enter first interface that is this one. So I will give command int f0 slash 0 now i am in this interface which is connected to this switch and this pc here you give the first ip address ipv6 address which is going to be Then to enable dynamic routing, we give these two commands IPv6, RIP, ABC, enable. After this command, 
don't forget to give this command ipv6 enable then to enable this interface will give the command no shut now by exit command we will exit this interface and now we will enter to the next interface that is this interface where router 0 is connected to router 1 so i give the command int f 0 slash 1 to assign the ip address we give command ipv6 address then to enable dynamic routing we give command ipv6 rip abc enable don't forget to give ipv6 enable command also and the most important command no shut now we are done with router 0 and we will move to router 1 here also we will repeat the same series of commands When you give the command int f0 slash 0, you are here in this interface. And the appropriate IP address here is this one. Now interface 0 slash 0 is done and I would in enter interface 0 slash 1. In 0 slash 1, the appropriate IP address is this one. Now we have not only assigned the IP addresses, but we have also done the dynamic routing. Now let us verify this by sending a message from this computer to this computer. And you can see the message here has been successfully sent. That's all I had to discuss for this video. Thank you.